More incredible drone video just coming into the Fox 35 newsroom. Look at that palm tree just sliding off into the ocean. This one shows the scope of the devastation. This video is from right between Daytona Beach shores and Wilbur by the sea. It's just heartbreaking to see that coastline just crumble and fall into the ocean. We want to stay with this video for a moment so you can see these amazing pictures. It's just hard to believe that these multi million dollar homes in some cases are just gone. Yeah, Luann, right now on the screen, you can see a swimming pool just dangling over the edge right there. You saw another swimming pool right before this that was snapped in half. Half of it's now down on the surf and the other half still attached to the home and the foundation there. But we were just saying, I don't know how you go through and, and stabilize these. Do you not? I mean, that's a beautiful home right there. Do you knock these homes down? Do you rebuild? Do you start again? I think that's what we're going to be dealing with now for months is figuring out what to do with all this property, especially while we're by the sea. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the structural engineers say. I don't know how you can just bring in sand to shore up some of these buildings when just feet away, mm -hmm. it's gone. Well, you know, a few years ago, we also saw them come in and re-nourish the beaches. They had to bring in all that sand, but that took a long time, and it wasn't this bad. So no. we'll have to see kind of where it goes from here, but a lot of work to be done. And here's the other part is that it could get worse tonight because of what we're about to see with Brooks in just a second. Yeah. Okay, so again, more homes teetering on the edge right here. Neighbors say it looks like a bomb went off. Let's get out to Fox Weather's Katie Garner. She has been checking out the beachfront damage all day long. So, Katie, what is the situation there now that the rain has stopped? Yeah, uh, Luann, good, good question. We've uh, got a lot to show you here. So the situation is the tide is certainly kind of coming in. It's going to make things worse. But look behind me. That's an, an in-ground pool that's now out of the ground and still standing due to those poles. This is an engineer's dream. They did this right, and it has not fallen yet. And then when you look at the second uh, porch there, that's standing because of the poles as well. That will take the house falling down to get those poles out of the ground. I heard you and John talking about what a structural engineer might say. I actually texted a friend of mine that is an engineer, and it looks like a demolishment might be the best ticket for some of these people, but that's up to each family. All right, as we continue to come over here, speaking of family, I want to bring the human aspect into this. Imagine this is your home, okay, because this, this really got me. I mean, this really kind of broke my heart. These people have inspirational words taped to their walls, and you wonder if they're feeling that way tonight after this devastating thing has happened. You can see this bed in the corner still perfectly in place, one of the legs barely hanging over, the lamp still standing up, a chair and a desk, and then you have the kitchen and, of course, the other bedroom with the end table still intact and the bed still kind of made. The pool. It's clearly torn down, but it's just this this damage that's devastating. I mean, we're out here and we're talking about all these homes that are demolished, and it, it's not out of excitement to see it, which I know the normal viewer would know. It's out of the devastation of now there's a family without a home again, but not just one, two, three, four. The list goes on all the way down the beach. We stayed earlier with that house that had collapsed about 10 feet from me while we were doing an Instagram video, and uh, we decided, you know what, we need to get in front of this. We need to look at the damage. So we came onto the beach, a lot of other crews here too, and we did just that. And, you know, what we see is heartbreaking.